Hello everyone, my name is Wide West and this is Benoit Bigs channel. If you are not my subscriber, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell button. Alright, okay, let's start by solving this problem. Our problem for today is in engineering economics. Simple interest topic. Okay, here we go. 4,000 is borrowed for 75 days at 16% per annum. Simple interest. How much will be due at the end of 75 days? So letter A is 4,133.33. Letter B, 4,333.33. Letter C, 4,166.67. And letter D, 4,150. We can solve this problem in four easy steps. So, kakailangan natin ang unang-una dyan is the given. We should uh, analyze and find the given first. So, para mas madali natin ma-solve. Okay, for our given, ang unang-una na dyan is the principal. Yeah, this one. The principal or the, uh, the present word, which is equivalent to 4,000. So, the interest in one year is, here we go, we have 16%. Diba? So, or 0 0.6 and our the rate of interest therefore is equivalent to the interest in one year over 360 okay so the interest in one year over 360 since this is simple interest we assume that the total number of days in one year is equivalent to 360 so that's why we have 0 0.16 over 360 and the next one is the number of interest period which is equivalent to we have 75 days okay we have 75 days and what we are looking for yeah the unknown one is the accumulated amount or the the future work okay the future work which is equivalent to yeah wala wala pa so hanapin natin yan and okay so after the given we also we need a formula so we will be using the the formula for simple interest so i hope you all you know all this already Okay, so and the formula so is equivalent to the for the given present work and we're looking for the future work so f is equivalent to the present work one plus the i which is equivalent to the rate of interest then multiply doon sa ating number of interest period so mapapansin natin dito so yung ating mga given nasa left side so nasulat na natin dito so that we can easily solve or compute this uh, problem so for the solution so, wala naman tayong ibang uh, medyo mahirap na kailangan gawin. So, we just simply uh, substitute values. Okay? Doon sa ating formula. So, we have the principal which is, which is equivalent to 4,000. Then, 1 plus uh, the i is equivalent to 0.16. Diba? Over 360. And the number of interest periods is equivalent to 75. Okay? And by solving, uh, by solving this using your calculator, over you Okay. Wait a moment. So yeah, we have we simply okay. So four thousand, four thousand. Then we have one plus. We have uh, zero point sixteen over uh, three hundred sixty. Okay. Then multiply to we have number of days seventy five. And yeah, here we go. We this equivalent to and decimal so we have 4133 okay so that's equivalent to 4133.33 and this is your okay, this is our final answer and we're going to proceed doon sa ating uh, options kung ano ba kung ano yung kung ano yung tama doon okay so we have 4000 133 so it's equivalent to letter a okay so 4133 all right so that will be our uh, answer for this problem before i end this video so let me let me discuss some basic informations with regard to simple interest so that we could be able to somehow help you uh solving simple and uh, related simple interest problem okay Okay, for a simple interest concepts, so we have the interest is the return on capital or cost of using capital. It is the amount of money paid for the use of borrowed capital 
or the income produced by money which has been loaned. So that will be the interest. And whereas the simple interest is calculated using the principal only, ignoring any interest that had been accrued in preceding period. And the formula is for the interest is equivalent to the principal, then the interest earned, and the number of interest period. Okay, that is for the formula for the interest. And to get the future, so equivalent to the present work plus the interest. And deriving the formula for the future is equivalent to the principal, 1 plus the i multiplied to n. Okay, so this is the formula for getting the interest and the future work. And if you want to get, well, mukhang di ka nalagay, so if you want to get the the present work, given the future, just simply the, we have the F over diba, the quantity 1 plus I N. Okay? So, you can also, just, the same lang naman, so equivalent to F 1 plus I N is to negative 1. It's just the same. Okay? And for the type of simple interest, we have ordinary and exact. For the ordinary simple interest, this, this is a simple interest in which it is assumed that each month contains 30 days and consequently each year has 360 days. So this is the uh, this is the problem that we solve. This 360 days yung ating. We assume 360 days for ordinary simple interest. So one month 30, one year 360. It is called the banker's year. And the other types is the exact simple interest. This is a simple interest in which the exact number of days per month is used. So exacto. So one ordinary year is 365 or standard. And pag mayroon tayong leap year, so 360 day, uh, 366 days. So this this happened no, every four years. Diba? So where in the yung ating February is diba, 29 days. So kaya may pasobra. Isa. Dapat muna nating malaman kung ito ay leap year o hindi. So, I will discuss that kapag mayroon tayong problem. Problem related to exact simple interest. Okay? okay? For now, we'll go back to the to our problem. Okay, so again, the, the, the answer for this problem is letter A. We have 4,133.33. So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating niya problem. So, bago tayo magtapos, isang masigabong palakpakan naman yan. Ayan. Okay. Alright. Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button. See you on my next video.